Our mission is to ease the use of broadcast hardware for people making live video. And to do that, we have specialized in custom controllers. But when you look at this, you may think, what a mess, all these options, and what can this one do over that one, and how is this going to help me? Now, in this video, I'll explain you why this is, in fact, going to help you make user-friendly installations. And if we look at the ingredients of a controller from Skahoy, you find that they consist of an enclosure into which you find electronic modules. So a module would be like this one that would be a master audio control. And you see that over here too, like many of the button panels would also be used in different models. The enclosure is different form factors, like a rack unit or a desktop controller, like these, or remote control, which is really great to place in the context of a camera operator that works as a producer as well. Or it could be these hybrids, which are kind of handheld, or they could be on a table. And then even specialty form factors like the RCP or the microcontrollers you see here. So when you look at our hardware, you need to find the form factor that fits your application in your video setup. On the other side, because that was the user context, you pick your hardware based on the user context. On the software side, you need to consider which protocols do I need to use to work with a smart scope or an ATEM switcher or Sony camera. And this is where our new universal firmware is going to help you incredibly much because the same software can be implemented on all of these units. That means you just need to think about what devices do we support? Any of these controllers can then support that device. Okay, let's take a look at the hardware. Generally, if you look at our website, you find a lot of designs, which are mainly controllers. That would be these units. And then you find some accessories and utilities like a tally lamp and breakout boards. On the software side, you'll see that traditionally we specialize in controlling ATEM switches. We also have some products that mention smart scopes, video hubs, hyperdecks, even Terranex. The universal firmware is going to give you access to even more hardware from the broadcast industry. It could be software applications like vMix, Grass Valley switches, Sony RCPs, Panasonic cameras, Visca protocol, Roland switches, etc. And this list is going to grow. The way the universal firmware works is that any of these controllers has a web interface that looks like this. Of course, it looks like the actual controller because the web interface you see behind me is for this desktop model. And to change how this works, which hardware device it communicates to, you use this web interface, click the button you want to assign functionality to, and then you select from a list. And you are going to see it live now. I just plugged in this controller. You see it's powered over Ethernet and the buttons light up. Obviously, they control something. Let's look at how this button is actually configured. So behind me, I have loaded the web interface for the controller. And I simply go with the mouse to the button, clicks the button, and there you see this one will put source one on program on an ATEM switcher. How can I change this? By simply looking at the various options. All what you see here is for ATEM switches, but if you go down the list, you'll see how would it look if I supported different things like the Blackmagic camera control protocol over the Arduino shield they released, or it could even be a Sony RCP if I wanted to set Iris, Master Black or something. I could also select brightness, contrast, scope type on a smart scope. I could configure it to route an input to an output on a video hub and so forth. Let's see how that works. If I select route input to output on a video hub, what I get is now a different set of options. Like I can say this button will route input number six to output number, let's see, 45. And then I even have options like toggle, hold down, cycle, etc. And this works 
on this as well. Voila. And this, and this, even this one. This one as well. This guy. Sure, the rack units too. No. This guy. This tiny controller. The mighty RCP. And this one as well. So I think you get the point now. I think you are the expert in which form factor fits your video installation. And we are the experts that will connect you to your video hardware no matter what you choose. And that's why it's easy.